Hey there guys, so today we're going to try out TriHack main boiler CTF So this is a CTF room So over here we need to find far extension after anon lock-in Okay, so here I've performed the port scanning already We found 4 port So this one is a port 21 Okay, I'm trying to check and see can we lock in anonymously or not Okay, it says that we have successfully logged in anonymously and we found a file over here dot info dot txt I'll try to get it Okay, we read it Okay, it seems like this one has been encrypted This is a cyber text, right? So over here we try and check with the question The file extension after anon login this one is a .txt extension, so the answer is .txt. So what is the highest port over here after we have performed port scanning, right? 55007 will be the highest port running SSH. So the answer is, what is on the highest port? SSH. What is running on port 10,000? We try to check out 10,000 port. This one is a HTTP protocol, meaning serve web min. Okay, try to check out this one. The IP is 10.10.150.92. Okay, this is the port 80. We're gonna access the 10,000 port. Okay, this one is the SSL mode, so we need to put HTTPS. Okay, accept it. Okay, log into web min. So, this is a web min. So, the answer is it's running a web min over there. Can we exploit the service running on that port? This one, try to check out is there any change log or not? No, I think we can't access it over here. Try to check out like a minute in. No, it failed. Try to check out like let me default credential. The default credential for web min. That Login name is password. The, the the login name is admin. The default password will be E R V E R A V A. Hmm. What will the default password be? I'm trying to enumerate over here. Okay, we found that the default password is E R A admin. Try to check out. Admin is the username, ERA admin. And we still can't log in into it. So it seems like this is not the path for it. Okay, so the answer is 9. We can't even exploit it. What is the CMS that we can access? Okay, so now we're gonna check back another HTTP port. So this is port 80, HTTP port. Try to access it. Okay, so this one is the Apache default page. We're gonna check out the robots.txt. Okay, seems like interesting over here, right? But actually, this one is a rabbit hole. Try to decrypt it, but it seems like it doesn't work. Okay, decrypt it. This one. What we get over here is something like this. I try line base 64. We get something like this. So then hex. And this is the result I got. It seems like this is not the correct path. Because over here also it mentioned, right? Not a variable hole or it is it. But actually this is a variable hole. We want we want to spend our time on here. We perform web fuzzing. So we're gonna use our web fuzzer. this one but before that try to check out the help page first okay so this is the one to match HTTP status code copy this one because I, I want to exclude 
the status code of 403 and 401 okay seems like something wrong over here try to check out which file I did wrong okay. forget the, the fast over here try to run it try to check and see what are the things we can find over here Okay, so same thing. We have found a drone lava here. Can I check it out? And we found the CMS over here. This one is a Jomla CMS. Okay, so the answer for it will be Jomla. So we need to keep enumerating, see what we can find. We're gonna find an interesting file in a folder. Okay, so we'll try to check out here. Jomla is very limited. So here we found that this one is written by Joomla user. Okay, so this one is create your site. So it seems like how to create a site using Joomla, all right, over here. Okay, change the image, we're gonna go to the module manager. Nothing much we can find over here. We go to the about us, try to enumerate more over here. Because enumeration is key, right? Yeah, before that, forgot to do something else over here. Okay, just now we got the cipher text, right? We try to decrypt the cipher text. Okay, place it over here. Seems like a scissor cipher, right? Okay, this one is a broad 13. Just want to see if you find it. Okay, remember, enumeration is a key. So over here, you put the hint already. We need to enumerate more to find the interesting file inside the directory. Okay, so over here, it seems like this directory is right doesn't provide us any hint or clue to interesting file check out over here this part the image inside here so nothing much right so doesn't seem like the correct pathway so we try to perform a, our fuzzing again okay so over here I change this one to Joomla and then I put the extension is .txt and try and see can we find any .txt file or what you can find like HP or something like this right okay did you guys notice that over here normally for a web like Joomla this CMS right this kind of directory won't be exist right it shouldn't exist over here these are all the normal default directories that Joomla should have okay try to check out for Joomla robots.txt normally it should have over here okay seems like Joomla doesn't have robots.txt okay so seems like you can't find robot.txt over here but we can find like readme and those these are all the normal directories that we can find in Joomla okay so the interesting part over here will be the archive, database, file and test right we try to open this one okay we go. try to copy this the line first the line of code okay so now we try to perform fuzzing on each of this directory but before that we try to check out the default index of php the page first okay so we try to access the archive, it seems like nothing to see here. It gives us a clue, right? Nothing to enumerate more over there. Even we check the source code, right? It's nothing over there, right? Okay. So we go to the database. Okay, so this one seems like a cipher text encryption, right? This one seems like a scissor cipher. So we go there, scissor cipher. Try to find the key for it to decrypt the text. Okay, the key is 2, but it shows that just messing around. So, seems like this is not the correct path too. Okay, so now we go back here, go to the files. Another cryptography, another cipher text. Go here, this one seems like a base 64, right? Base 64, okay, we delete everything else, we put here. 
Okay, this one, another basic C4. We put another basic C4. Oopsie, they see. Seems like they are messing around over here. So this is not the correct path to. Okay, we go check out with the test. Interesting. This one is literally different from the others, right? SAR to HTML. Okay. So seems like this one is much more interesting. Try to perform a fuzzing on files dot the test directory. Perform a fuzzing, see what we can find over there. Because we want to find the question asks us to get an interesting file name in the folder, right? So we need to perform enumeration over there. So we can we try to find and see what are the things that we can find over here because this one is literally different from the other directory over here, right? Okay. So this one's like holes. Seems like nothing much over here it shows, right? Okay. So the faster return the result, we found a long log text. This one seems quite interesting. We can check it out. Okay, learn not text. So listening on port 22 seems like SSH, SSH port over here. Okay, accept password for bastard from this IP port, this higher port, SSH password is this password. It seems like this is a credential for the SSH to bastard user. Okay, so we try to check out. See, can we SSH into it now? Try the port 22 SSH port first with bastard. Okay. Oh, okay. It shows connection refused because we doesn't even have a port 22, right? So the port SSH is open in the highest port 55007. Okay, so we'll go back here. There's a port. Okay. Yes, we can go back to here. Place the password over here. Place it. And voila, we got our initial foothold. Okay, the LS it. Okay, it seems like this one is something interesting. Back up the SH. The owner of the file is Stoner. But before that, we try to check out Stoner minus L first. Bastard the password. Okay, Bastard doesn't have any pseudo privilege. So, Try to check out the backup the SH. Okay. This one source target seems like this is a place it back up and it plays over here. The log will be saved over here inside the stoner home directory. And this is user stoner. And this one seems like a credential for stoner user. Try try and see. Is this the, the credential for stoner user or not? Okay, replace it. And voila! The same type of privilege escalate to stoner user. Okay, we go to the stoner home directory and found a secret. Before that, we try and change it. What are things that we need to do here? Where was the other user password stored? No extension, just the name. So just now, where we get the credential, we get it from the backup the SSH, right? So without the extension, we'll be backup. So backup will be the answer. Now we need to capture the user flag. So where we can find the user flag, it's stored inside dot secret. So this is where the the flag will be stored. This is the flag. Okay. So now try to see the pseudo minus L. Seems like that's a uh, pseudo a pseudo privilege for a stoner user, right? But it shows that not this messing with us only. Because we try to check this one. Actually, this path is not available. It, the stoner user just messing around with us. So, we try and check and see what are the things that we can get over here. Dot nano. Okay, nothing over here that we can read. Now we try to find for the files that have a SUID bit set. And we can access it. So, execute. Ok, 
Okay, I'll try fire. Okay, as you F user mount, you mount mount, ping six ping. This one seems like normal name, right? This one doesn't have any vulnerabilities that we can exploit. We can't exploit this kind of SUID bit. Okay. So from here we found that user bin fine. This one is much more interesting. And the owner of the file is root. So, and he has the SUID bit set for it. So try to use this one to exploit and get our root shell. So how can we do that? Let's execute bin bash. Quick. And voila. Now our EUID has been set to root. So now we go to the root and we found our root flag. And we read it. And this is the root flag. So we go back to here. What can we exploit to get the privileged user? We exploit the find, right? This one, we exploit the find binary. And then we capture the root flag. So that's how we can own boiler this CTF machine. So that's all for my video. Thanks guys. Bye bye.